Hi guys, this is Amber from Happy Caravan. I'm a mom of 11 kids and we live in New York City. I'm gonna show you all what we eat in a week. Today is Wednesday, it's the first day of our food week because we normally go shopping on Tuesday. Tonight we are having lentils and rice. This is a Mauritian dish that my husband's family made and it's really economical because it's beans and rice but it's a little bit different because it's a little bit of a twist. So the way we make it is we put bacon, there's bacon in there and ginger, onions, and um, fry that up real good. Then we put in um, a can of tomato sauce, a can of diced tomatoes. Um, oh, and did I say bacon already? Bacon is like the most important thing because it gives it all that ginger, thyme, yummy flavor. Well, the, did you put the thyme in already or did we yes, put that in? No, okay. It goes in, it goes in and also we put a little honey in there too. And we are making to go with it satini concom, which is from MauritianFoodRecipes.com, and it just has onion, coriander, cucumbers, a little bit of red chili. Mark slicing up the dried red chili. Uh, you can have do fresh or dried. We're doing dried just because that's more convenient. Lemon juice, olive oil, salt, and pepper. You mix it all together, and that's a really nice kind of um, little salad to serve with the lentils and rice. We cook the rice and lentils separately, actually, so that um, it's just easier that way. I used to cook them before instant pots, so I used to cook them in a regular pot, but this is just easier. So she's now Chloe's actually baking up the cookies. Uh, I think Naomi made these over here. Chocolate chip cookies are just some of the best cookies ever <laughs> invented, I think. <laughs> We're trying to be more frugal, and one of the ways is by making our own cookies, but. I feel like homemade cookies are better anyway, so win-win. So Mark put the lentils from the Instant Pot in here, kind of stirring them around. The lentils are really bland, but what's going on in the sauce is so yummy that it kind of gives it that, that kick it needs. What do you need, sweetie boy? You want a cookie? Well, we're gonna have some, we're gonna have some lentils and rice first, okay? putting some fried eggs on top of the lentils and rice and that kind of gives it some extra protein and it's a good inexpensive source of protein too and tasty. No feeling like serving stew with a wooden spoon, am I right? <laughs> Do you feel like you're in the Hobbit or something? You're a funny dummy. Is it good, Mo? Hi. Is it hot? Yeah. A little bit. So good. Put this into there. There's Mama's plate. you about the sponsor of today's video it is Anna Luisa Anna Luisa makes beautiful really delicate very pretty jewelry and it is affordable and gorgeous my daughters absolutely love the Anna Luisa website they are whenever we're gonna do a collab with Anna Luisa they are so excited and they go up and down and they look at all the pieces and I actually have six daughters. Now she's not wearing jewelry yet, but I'm sure she'll be excited about it too. They really enjoy gift giving and there's nothing quite like jewelry for gift giving. But usually it's a little bit expensive, but thankfully with M. Luisa you can get some really nice pieces. They're really economically priced and they're tarnish resistant. There's a two year warranty and fast free shipping. I'm so surprised how quick it comes. So I'm going to show you some of the ideas my daughters had for wrapping it up because I was like, you know, maybe we can do like a gift giving theme with this, this Anna Luisa jewelry. And they were like, okay, but can we give it to each other? <laughs> because they, wanted to, they love it so much. So I'm gonna show you some of the ideas that Anna had for wrapping the jewelry and also going to show you some of the pieces up close. <laughs> This process is
so click the link in the description box for a special discount. Hey guys, welcome to Thursday night. <laughs> it's been a blur. Welcome to Thursday night. We are having Romanian chicken soup. And this is something that my mom's uh, friends made. She, we went to a church where a lot of the people that are from Romania. And uh, this is just basically onions, carrots, celery, some green, I mean, some red bell pepper. And then you actually put whole pieces of chicken there and it makes its own chicken broth that way, basically, as it's cooking. Mark takes off the, the fat of the, the skin and so forth. But Mark's, um, Mark's friend at work, he's from Romania, and a lot of times, in like communist Romania especially, if you went to the store, like sometimes they didn't even have chicken at all. Like you went to the butcher, there was no chicken. Because a lot of times in the communist system, that's how things work. Sometimes it would be like chicken feet or whatever. So you made soup with like whatever was there. So so I can't complain. Throw, so Throwing away the skin. Yeah, throwing away the skin was like you wouldn't do that, you know, in, in a communist country. But we're spoiled Americans, so we're getting rid of the skin. But uh, yeah, it's a, just, it's, a, it's a healthy way to get some good old-fashioned chicken soup. And instead of broth, obviously we're kind of making our own broth here. But also we use this Vegeta. I like the Natura version because it does not have um, MSG in it. This goes in at the end. So here it is with all the chicken thighs that we got in there. And then Mark's going to put some uh, water in there. Do you have a set, set amount of water you put or you just put up so you think it's done? Um, <coughs> Thank you. She shared her treats with me. Thank you. Okay, 12 cups. Mark's put in some of the water. He's putting in some more. And it turns to oh man, chicken broth right away. You can tell. It's beautiful. Just because I want to see if it's for fun. Hey, Naomi, what are you making? Um, I'm getting a tap to make pasta. That's cool. I watched a video last night, but I wasn't able to do it. I bet you could do it. So Mark's putting in the Vegeta now. Five teaspoons. Five teaspoons of Vegeta. And you also put a little salt too, right? One teaspoon. It needs a lot of salt because this is basically broth, you know? Not adding salty chicken broth. You're making your own salty chicken broth. So he's saying what goes in last is tomato sauce, parsley, and noodles. So this is going to cook and get all simmery. And then at the end, you put that stuff. And the Romanians always put lemon. But our kids kind of complain like about it. the lemon. The kids, Some of the kids like it. Naomi doesn't like it. And you Elijah doesn't like it. Okay, so we put our own lemon at the end. We have individual lemon. So Mark put the noodles. There's these little vermicelli. I think vermicelli? I um, fine egg noodles, and then the parsley and the tomato sauce, right? Yep. And if we were going to make official Romanian soup, we would put the lemon in there, but our kids don't like it in there. The other thing Romanians did was they would put sour cream on there, so that's, that's a, a very nice childhood memory for me. I'm not Romanian, but... My friends were all Romanian, and so we'd go to their houses, and they had this like every week. It was so good. <laughs> that or potato soup. Like it would just be with a potato, so which I assume probably does come from the Romanian tradition because if you go to the meat market and there's no meat, what do you eat? You know, hopefully there's a potato, right? So I like the potato soup, soup too. <laughs> I like all of it. Lata, did you have a baba? <laughs> Are you all happy and calm? Love you, sweetie. Instead of two, put a little bit of flour. So I don't know. Oh, that's good. 
Have you tasted him yet? Um, yeah, one. Was it good? Yep. Just a little bit under salted. Okay, this one we have yet. This one we have with the soup. So pretty. Do you like it with lemon or not really? Oh, yeah. Rose Some kids like it with lemon. soup. I am actually having whole wheat sourdough bread. The kids are having these uh, French baguettes from oh, Trader I'm Joe's. Having, I'm are having Are you having baguette? Too. Oh, you're having that bread too? You like my whole wheat sourdough? It's yep. pretty good, huh? It's mm. really good. <laughs> oh, I tried Naomi's pasta. It was very good too. That was impressive, Naomi. You going to make me some Later. Your your pasta was impressive. Was good. Naomi's gonna make me some later because oh, I. Oh, she make you some any. later. Okay. Because I didn't have any other stuff. <laughs> noodles. Yeah. Noodles. Yeah. It's too hot. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to Friday night. We are having pizza. It's kind of a simple pizza. We're using these um, pizza stones. They. Don't look that great, but they make a really nice crispy crust. And um, one thing that Mark does, these are the Trader Joe's pizza crusts, um, pre-made, and he basically puts them like upside down from what you would think. And why do you do that, Mark? <laughs> uh, it makes them really crispy. Okay. So I, I don't know why that is, but the, the under crust gets really crispy. So yeah, we're using this uh, pizza sauce from Trader Joe's. And then over here, we actually have chicken sausage of Italian sausage from Trader Joe's cut up because I did not have pepperoni. Sausage. Some, you want Sa some? You want a sausage? Uh, I think it's all uh, fully cooked. Is it I, fully cooked? I don't know, okay. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be. Okay, well technically I guess it's fully cooked, but you're gonna have to wait for the pizza. Do you want a potato? <laughs> <laughs> so these are, we had baked potatoes today, and so did you put some parmesan <coughs> cheese on these, Mark? Yeah. And then bell peppers, mushrooms, and then we have some, Mozzarella cheese, just, this is a um, get out of jail free meal. <laughs> just make it easy after a very challenging week. So, um, did, what do you have? That the monsters? Yeah, that's a, that's a good story, Mo. We like that, that's from your older player. Anyway, so this is just a simple meal. One day I'd like to make my own pizza crust, but we're, <laughs> we're kind of in that like chill mode right now. Hey, Netta. How are you, sweet girl? <laughs> so now Daddy's putting all the toppings on the pizzas. Mama had to go nurse the baby, so I'm gonna be filming now. Um, got potatoes and uh, mushrooms and bell peppers and sausage. Mo seems very excited for that. And then, of course, we're putting more cheese just because. Yummy. It's, it's a and then we're gonna make, I think, four more. So we've got eight of these half uh, pizza crusts. We've got these bad boys cooking in here, and they should. I think they'll cook for I don't know. I guess until brown and the cheese are cheese is all melted. I don't know the exact time, but I think we set a timer. Pizzas are ready. Good. Oh, those do look good. Wow. The little sausages. And did you put the potatoes on there too? Yep. Wow, that was a good idea. Where'd you get that idea from? Like round table uh, pizza. Didn't they use that round table pizza? Uh, I think, yeah. I, I think round, I mean, lots of places put potato on. Like you can so go, cool. You can go to New York Pizza and get potato on your stuff. But if we went to New York Pizza and got potato on there, it would be like a $40 pizza. So this is much cheaper. You want to show mommy? Guys, you want to show me what you made? They made their own Happy Meal boxes. And, and you put some snacks in there. And look, you can see it through the, 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 the McDonald's handles. And this is yours? Yeah, and then you can see oh. the crack. 
moves his head a little boom. Did you fall, Mo? Yeah, you gotta be careful. Anyway, so this is Moses's and you can see the unhappy tracks. meal box. And what does he have really in his? So he has uh, his chips and juice for tomorrow, and then I stuck his dinosaur that he painted in there. <laughs> yes, because it. we know all happy meals Mommy. have a toy. And then, oh, mystery toy. That's great. Did you write that yourself? Yeah. That's well, so and you're right. It says no. Don't fuss. Because <laughs> we all know Happy Meals are like $10 a piece now, so we're making our own. <laughs> this is much better. <laughs> Probably healthier, too. That's great, guys. Well, can I tell you something? Yes, it's not bad to put the don't fuss in there because. No, I didn't mean to. You're going to eat it tomorrow, Mo. Are you excited? Did they put a toy in there? He, we put his dinosaur. And I That's got great. So what did you make your Happy Meal box out of? Um, um, chicken that. stock box. <laughs> chicken stock box. And what did you make your Happy Oatmeal Meal box? Oatmeal box. Oatmeal I box. need it to make it bigger. What is your Happy yeah. Meal box out of? You can kind of still see it. It's honey a honey bunches of votes. Bunch 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 it has been re resurrected <laughs> as a much cooler box now. Very good. Honey. And it says over here it has Happy Meal. And it shows, sorry, I don't know how to spell toddler. But That's great. It, no. Toddler, aw. Reduce, reuse, recycle. No. And she's got the, uh, the, the colored branding over here. That's very cute. You got your pizza, Mo? Um, <laughs> what do you think about the chicken sausage? Is it good on there? It's good. I don't think I'm going to like it. You don't think you're going to like the chicken sausage? Have you tried it? You should try it. It's really good. It might be good. And it has potato on it. Oh, yes. Give it a try. We'll see. You might like it. I know I And we're also having salad. I always just make a, well, usually I just make a simple dressing with a little bit of canola oil, some apple cider vinegar, a little bit of um, one teaspoon salt and three teaspoons of sugar, a little bit of pepper, and uh, just makes it kind of a sweet, savory dressing. And that way the kids actually eat their salad. Yay! So round two of these pizzas. So what Mark does is he puts the... Did you cook the pizza crust by themselves first a little bit? No, no you just... Okay, so... But these these are hot. The pizza um, stones are hot. So he puts a little bit of sauce, a little bit of cheese, then the veggies, and then he puts some more cheese on top. That's Mark's secret. <laughs> he really does the, have a the knack sausage for cooking. or pepperoni on top. Perfect. How's it going for you, Mo? Is it good? Sweet girl. <laughs> Good night, Mommy. I love you. I love you. Good night, Daddy. I love you. So this is Enoch's Happy Meal box. And probably my favorite thing is this cookie on the side. That's very cool. Did you put that on there? Mm. It was Enoch's idea? Mm -hmm. That's brilliant. I taped it on there, but it was Enoch's idea. Yeah, that blows McDonald's out of the water. That's pretty good. And then Anna made this thing, as you can already tell. <laughs> That's very cute. Hey guys, welcome to Saturday. Tonight we're having bean burritos, and Josiah was in Pennsylvania, and his friends gave him some, what is it called? Shoe fly pie. Shoe fly pie. It's basically like a molasses pie. Some of the little kids didn't like it, but do you like it? Yep. It's good. It's like, it reminds me. It's like pecan pie, but just with Yeah, it reminds me. My mom always made molasses cookies, so that made me happy. And we're having bean burritos, but besides having, I don't know, something extra special. I just put Fritos on top of it. Sorry, it's not that. It's not that amazing. Yeah, this is looking good though. Anyway, do you know what I read? I read that antioxidants are in beans, uh, black beans especially. So, eating healthy, getting good protein. What do you think about that, Miss Netta? She. Erped on my shirt, <laughs> so I have to clean it off. Did you have a little pop, Nana? Oh, you are. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Babies are cute but messy. 
Anyway, did you guys have fun at Juilliard today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here's Mama's burrito, my black beans, my cheese, my whole wheat, Trader <coughs> Joe's tortilla. I think I'm gonna go wild and put ketchup, salsa, and sour cream. <laughs> when I was a kid, I always had ketchup, so it feels nostalgic for me to have ketchup on my burrito. Kids are over there watching a Dude Perfect episode. The boys really like that. Let's see, wrap it up. Get your finger yelling. Hey! <laughs> Okay. Naomi's on a pasta Whoa. making kick. Are you making more pasta? So this egg is not working out. Just wait a little bit. <laughs> what? What kind of pasta are you making? Um, I don't know. Just, do I don't know pasta? anything about pasta. She's on a pasta kick. That was really good. The pasta she made last time was pretty good. I just... It's fun. Well, I just went to the Lego store today. What did you get? Uh, just a Star Wars ship oh. that I wanted for Rosoka? a long time. So yep, it's from a show that came out a while ago. Pretty cool. That's cool. And Elijah went really quick on his skateboard to the Lego store, but Enoch also got something. What is this? Um, well, I got it before, but then... You lost it, some of the pieces, right? Yeah. So what is the name of it? Um, it's just called Monster Jam or whatever it is. That's cool. Is it like a Technic car? Yep. Cool. I like building these. Okay, so it's called Monster Jam Dragon. Okay, that's kind of cool. Then you it's amazing how just these pieces turn into that. That's really cool. So I want to, I, I'm going to make this. So that's why I... Oh, I see. So you're looking online. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, because it says it's only online. No, is it? Elijah, is so this, this is the, uh, is this how much, how long did that take you? Um, like an hour. Like an hour, so we need a pasta maker, I think. She cut this all by hand. So here's the beautiful homemade noodles. She cooked them. And what sauce are you making? Um, just something I found online that doesn't need tomato paste. So it's like chicken, or I'm sorry, what's in there? It's like chicken it's like broth? chicken broth, milk. Parmesan, butter, garlic, I don't know. Mm, Hopefully it smells good. amazing. I hope it's good. Beautiful. Does it taste good? Um, I hope so. Mm-mm-mm. Oh. Hey guys, welcome to Sunday afternoon. We are having my mom's Hamburger potato casserole. We're trying it a little different because we're using Amy's natural cream of mushroom soup. But it's a pretty simple recipe. Um, we cooked it actually before church, left it kind of with under the tin foil, like you would if you were gonna bring it to a potluck or whatever. And then we put the cheese on top and we're gonna stick it back in the oven so it's nice and melty. So here's my mom's recipe. Kids are out there throwing snowballs. <laughs> Oh, Melody, you got snow on the floor. You got snow. How come there's snow on your head? Did you put snow on your head or someone else put snow on your head? Um, someone else did. Someone else did, of course. Of course she's going to leave that snow over there. Clean it up. Anyway, so this is what it has in it. It has, sorry, I can't see the sunshine. Hi, Mom. It has ground beef. Hold on, let me show that. What do you want to tell me? Um, well, when I was riding it off of the coffee table, it did this on the floor, then it was like that. Oh, that's cool. It's doing like car tricks. That's cool. Okay, so this is the recipe. It has a pound of ground beef, an onion, a can of cream of mushroom soup, eight ounces of milk, six large potatoes peeled and sliced, and eight ounces of cheddar cheese. And you brown the ground beef with the onion. You mix it in this with the soup. You stir it, and then you stick it in the casserole dish. This is what we had going on over there. Um, and we cooked it for about a little over an hour. Our oven's a little weird though, so at 375, and then take the, put the cheese on there and cook it at 340 for, we have a little up because like I said, our oven's a little wonky. 
Um, we cook it for, but basically until the cheese is melted, and I'll tell you if it's any good. We usually, because we're using the Annie's natural soups instead of the Campbell's cream and mushroom soup, which is what my mom always used, um, we end up having to add some salt because the natural soups usually don't have as much salt in them naturally, so we have to usually add a little bit. So Mark added about a teaspoon per casserole. We double the recipe, of course, because we're, we're a big family. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're just trying to come up with meals that we can kind of like mostly make before we go to church and then eat after church. But the other thing while we were at church, um, right by church, there's so many cool places to go. And we found this cool chocolate chip cookie place. It's called Chip City. And uh, we mostly ate the cookies, but there's a few of them left. So this is the chocolate chip, this is the cookies and cream, and this is the confetti, and then there was also a s'mores. I'm not sure if it was, it might have even been um, sweet potato s'mores cookies, so that was very good. These are probably some of the best cookies, right, that we've had in the city? They, they were really, really good. <laughs> Dangerously good. <laughs> so, yeah. Super, they were warm. I mean, yeah. So there was actually, when we were there, there was a tour company that was coming in there. They like bring people on tours and there were people that were on tour of the city eating the cookies. So it's usually a sign that it's probably a good cookie. So anyway, I'll let you know how the hamburger potato casserole <laughs> turns out. <laughs> Always trying to find new recipes, so. Miss Ned has been sleeping. She fell asleep on the way home and she's staying asleep. See what the kids are doing after church. They're having a little snowball fight out here. <laughs> so that's the neighbor's yard. He doesn't go out in his yard much. Or ever, really. <laughs> he takes perfectly good care of his grass. We're just kind of enjoying the backyard to the fullest. So the kids are having a little snowball, snowball fights. We're actually, honestly, I think the only kids up and down our entire street, almost. So, there's a few at the end of the block, but, yeah, this street doesn't have a lot of kids. Actually, most of New York City doesn't have a lot of kids, so we're, I guess we're making up for it. I do, if I had more time, I would make some different salad dressings. My mom used to have this really good, oh, I see my, my mom's book, <laughs> keep showing you. Um, it's from Coco's, it was a restaurant, and it's really good, sour cream dressing. And then we also have a homemade buttermilk ranch that we make, and then also 
Um, recently, we've made a really good Italian. My mom made it. My mom has like a really sweet Italian. There's a more savory Italian that I, I like. I don't like to as much sugar. Um, that we made. Remember, we made it for Elijah's birthday. That was really good. So. I like making salad dressing. I don't like it as much out of the bottle, but if I am gonna buy it from the bottle, I do find that I like the Trader Joe's um, salad dressings because they're a little bit more natural. But um, yeah, the, but for a family our size, it's usually more economical just to make it. I bet these casseroles are almost melted, don't you think? Probably almost ready here. Ooh. It ain't easy if it ain't cheesy. What is that? <laughs> what am I supposed to say? <laughs> Don't go down easy if it ain't cheesy. Oh, beautiful. That looks good. It's kind of like a casserole version of cheeseburger soup. I think. <laughs> but with fries, right? Because it's, it's kind of a, yeah. Cheese fries. Cheese fries, yep. Did you have a nice snowball fight? Noah takes cheap shots <laughs> when she's going down to get a snow, new it snowball. Was, that's what we all do. That's what I, I can't Noah didn't, unless I did that. Noah didn't get me this time. It was just Dana and Naomi. Oh, okay. Here's Mama's food. No, it's just sleeping. <laughs> so, let's give it a go. Why can't you get your finger on it? It's good, Mark. The salt's really good. To go there. I put the right amount of salt in there. It's kind of a up in the air. I, I know the potatoes can use it. It's just the nature. Of mm -hmm. potatoes. Yeah, potatoes need a lot of salt. This is good. Okay, <laughs> snazzy. Where did you go? Thank you. I just brunched with some friends from St. Thomas Episcopal. No, oh, you look very handsome with your. Are you wearing your vintage, a little bit. vintage suspenders? Yeah, we were trying These to go to a, ones, yeah. a cafe and we kept finding places that were like martini places, so. Well, you could have taken me, I could have done the same thing. <laughs> I, guess. I guess in New York they have uh, liquor on Sunday afternoon. Okay. Hey Mo, did you try your food? No. Are you all full <laughs> from your cookie? Eat your food. <laughs> You might like it, Mo. No. It's what Spider Man is. You want Nigel to feed you a bite? Uh, Here. No. It's potatoes, it's potatoes Mo. No. Potatoes. Oh, no. to it. I think no. he's Oil just not. No. I think he's not hungry. No, this one is a third, and then this, this one is a half. Right? <laughs> one, two, three, four, seven. Five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. Because then it's big, so it's not the big one. Yeah. Here, give me a knife. Okay. Did you decide to try it? Did you like it, Mo? Yeah, no. You didn't like it? Yeah. Oh, now I have to. Oh, yeah, I'm having. That's fine. Okay. Did you already have a cookie at brunch? Uh, I have you. Nah. <laughs> you like it, Melody? You want to me one of the dishes? Just send it to you. Maybe I can just put them in a vial and thank everybody for donating very warmly. <laughs> So you you already ate at the they brunch. You're having this. another snack, Joe. Um, uh, it was mostly like champagne and hors d'oeuvres, so I could use a little food. Uh, what's this? They have some of this. Oh, okay, good one. Now there's one for your side. Oh, sweet. Mm. Hey guys, welcome to Monday night. Tonight we are making minestrone soup from the Jamie Oliver cookbook. This is one of my favorite cookbooks. <laughs> it's the Naked Chef, it's his very first cookbook. And he's still cooking, amazingly. I um, have a friend that sends me his new videos and so forth on email and he's still, he's still at it. He was making, um, what was it? Ravioli with stinging nettle pasta, the other, or no, sorry. He was making ravioli with stinging nettles. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. so I mean you can I guess you can do anything, but anyway, um, so this is what we're making. We're making the minestrone And this does not have stinging nettles in it, but it has leeks and red onions, carrots, celery, rosemary That just really makes it amazing and cabbage and then we um tomatoes Well, are you using these tomatoes too? Yeah, Both so that came small enough. Oh, okay. So we're also um, using these tomatoes and we have a can of tomatoes. And we're gonna put some 
basil on there. And we also have some artisan pasta that we put in there. And we're gonna have it with baguette. I, this is a baguette I got from Trader Joe's. I just freeze it so that it stays nice and fresh and we just toast it. Here's the organic Italian pasta. We got this from Trader Joe's. But we only use about half the bag. Is that about right, Mark? Uh, yeah. Yeah, otherwise it would just be all full of pasta. It comes too much. Yeah. And here's our Parmesan cheese that we use. We actually get this from Costco. It's a much better deal. It's actually from Italy. We use part of it for another pasta dish we're making. Can you see yourself? This is where you get. So we're making some leeks. There's just of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. We're frying off the leeks. Mark's also cutting some garlic. That's my favorite goes in there. That's really good flavor. We're putting in the garlic. It smells so good. Black pepper. And a pinch of salt. Pinch Jamie of salt. Oliver says it brings out the sweetness in the leeks. Got some celery, we've got rosemary, a couple of red onions, and some carrots. It smells so good. The pot's filling up fast here. <laughs> if we're not careful, uh, it can actually get too full and we have to take some of this stuff out. So we have to be a little measured in what we put in there. Yeah, this is a really savory. The whole house is like, smelling good. One thing about this soup that I remember is we were on vacation and we had to eat a lot of fast food, but we had brought some, we had some leftovers of the soup in our fridge. And so we brought it with us in the trailer. And I just remember eating it, even, like, even though it was cold, it was so good because we didn't want to leave it behind and have it like go bad. So we brought it with us and I just remember eating it like in the trailer and it was so good because it, like after all that fast food, like to have like some real food, it was like, so um, it, we ended up eating all the leftovers <laughs> cold because it was just like, oh, healthy food. It's kind of a juxtaposition to McDonald's. So this is our tomatoes. We really like these Cento San Marzano tomatoes. Got some chicken stock. This is our chicken stock from Costco. So it is organic and cage free, but it really is a, makes it tasty. Yeah, so does it say bone broth? Yeah, made from organic chicken bones. So get all the goodies from the bones. I've been sick recently and I've been drinking this stuff. <laughs> it's so good. is cutting up the canned tomatoes. They're whole tomatoes, so he's just gonna give them a, a little chop. There we go. Yeah, that's how it makes it red. It's so pretty. So Mark's going to bring this to a boil and then put in the cabbage and half of those noodles and it is one of the best soups I've ever tried. I don't know what the combination is, but it's pretty amazing. I put the cabbage in. Okay, so you put the tomatoes in there. Oh, it looks good. Got the cabbage. Start putting the cabbage in, but the, the problem is it's Almost already overflowing. Much. Yeah, so you have to let it kind of wilt and then you can put in the, the noodles after that, right? Yeah, I think that's about all, all this thing can handle. Mm -hmm. Cabbage snack. 
Good cooked or not cooked? No. Good measure. There you go. Oh, you're whacking me. <laughs> and then after the noodles, you put in the basil at the very end, and it's, and it's ready. You put some um, Parmesan cheese on top. Okay, go for it. Once the noodles are cooked, you put it in the basil, right? Yeah. Get the ring in and voila. C'est prêt. You say that for food? Prêt? Uh, That's yeah, a I French think way so. of saying ready, I don't know. C'est prêt. Prêt à manger. Prêt à manger. Ready to eat. Mm -hmm. Trying our French lessons. <laughs> Mark, Mark helps me. Oh, there's that restaurant called that too. Oh, is there Pré the place called Pré à Manger? Shop. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So the soup's all done. Kids are over there. It's movie night, so I have to be quiet. <laughs> Kids are over there watching the movie. Hey, Seth. Did you come home from class? Studio class, yeah. Yes or no? You having dinner in a movie, Mo? Do you like your soup? You watching Spider-Man? <laughs> well, they're watching Spider-Man over here. <laughs> Put my Parmesan cheese. Drizzle of olive oil. And voila! Mm, so good. It's really sweet because of the cabbage. Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday night. We are shopping at Costco, so we are eating hot dogs and ice cream <laughs> and soda. That is sleeping. Three <laughs> hot dogs. Here, Moses. Okay, Moses is on the ice cream. The ice creams are a bit hard to get off.